glad you're here. My name is Crispina French, and I'm your host of the Rags to Riches podcast. I'm an OG textile alchemist, worked my way through art school making ragamuffins from thrift store sweaters way back in the 1980s. That college side hustle grew into a full-fledged business, and here I am to show you that you can do that too. Together, we'll navigate hurdles, challenges, and accomplishments while crafting your profitable textile upcycling business to serve you and the planet. My guests and I will cover topics including material sourcing, business savvy, product development, sales and marketing, and self-care. Overcoming struggles, celebrating wins, and reaping rewards of running your very own textile upcycling business is what we are all about. Are you ready to be inspired, energized, and supported? This is the Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast. This episode of the Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast is brought to you by The Unruffled. The Unruffled is a vibrant and feminine collection of slow-made garments and accessories handmade with love by Sandra Primo. Sandra is based in Austin, Texas, and every item she makes is thoughtfully constructed from finely sourced, reused textiles, favoring silks and lace and crochet. Bespoke, one of one, encouraging an infinite circle of recovery. Step into the world of The Unruffled at www.theunruffled.com. And visit the show notes page for this episode at Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast.com for links and more information. Hey guys, it's Crispina French, your hostess of with the mostest over here at the Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast. And I'm doing a solo episode today, which is, I can't even tell you how much harder it is for me to be really clear when I'm on my own. So it took me a forever to write this episode, but hopefully it'll be super inspiring and you guys will totally dig it. All right. So um, just in case you haven't tuned in before, I'm going to just go from the top here. So welcome to the Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast, where you'll be inspired by creative reuse, recycling, and upcycling. I'll introduce you to environmentalists and activists, authors and entrepreneurs, as well as other creative professionals who offer things of value in and interest to textile upcycling entrepreneurs. Whether it be business savvy or mindset work, technique development, or supporting connection, If it has to do with encouraging creativity, reducing textile consumption by offering some kind of cool alternative to fast fashion, or running what I like to call a truly sustainable fabric-based upcycling business, Rags to Riches podcast is the place to learn. So uh, we hang out over here and connect with super cool people, adding tons of value while interrupting the landfill stream. And today I'm just here solo. I'm going to walk you through some kind of cool um, new things that I'll I'll share about. So here we go. I'm your host, um, Crispina French, and I have been putting discarded clothing in manufacturers' fabric waste to good use since 1987. And I'm also the founder of Stitcher Hood Recycling Society. And actually, that's what we're going to talk about today, um, the Stitcher Hood Recycling Society that I founded back in 2021. So we're going to dive into all the details about how Stitcher Hood works. But um, I just wanted to refer you back. If you haven't heard of Stitcher Hood or you want to kind of get a little bit more background information, you might want to tune in to episode number three, which is where I kind of gave you a lot of background information and sort of explained to you why it was so important to me to create a community for textile upcyclers that um, is accessible to all online. So today we're going to be... um, talking about um, the new things that have come into the Stitcher Hood space since that episode number three was recorded. And um, here we go. So Stitcher Hood is designed to support entrepreneurs reusing fabric and community with inspiration, shared experience, tutorials, and a whole bunch of business savvy. It is where those dreaming of building a truly sustainable creative textile upcycling business find encouragement, support, and know-how needed to actualize their dream. 
And when I say a truly sustainable business, what I really mean is creating an endeavor that not only supports our communities and our home planet, but really that also supports the entrepreneur creating the business in a way that meets all of their needs, including health insurance and a retirement fund, so that you know, as you continue down this path, you are inspired to continue um, turning waste into value, teaching by example that we have the power to nurture and heal our natural environment. Stitcher Hood is where environmentally minded textile industry professionals, entrepreneurs, and hobbyists gather to collaborate, bringing companies and crafting closer to balance. It is a place for environmental optimism, a can-do attitude, a realist view of fabric waste where creative ingenuity is the resounding answer to fresh design. Textile upcycling is the gateway to seeing a world where there is enough for all and where you and I are enough and balance is actually within reach. This is rudimental yet pioneering work, and it's why Stitcher Hood came about to start with. So you might be wondering, like, what is Stitcher Hood and how, how is it structured and, you know, how can I get involved and how does it work? So let me share a little bit about that. So Stitcher Hood is a membership community that is hosted on a platform called Mighty Networks. And it operates very much like a social media platform with all the cool parts and none of the stuff that really kind of sucks. So there are no ads and no algorithms. There's no data harvesting and no private information gathering. There is an activities feed where members can post articles, quick posts, images, links and polls. And, you know, members can leave comments and images on other people's posts, give them feedback, interact that way. There's also a direct messaging feature allowing individual members to communicate directly and also host group chats with multiple members. Um, and in Stitcherhood, we host weekly stitch hours, accountability huddles, and live streams. We have a monthly book recommendation and a super cool monthly discussion hosted by our members. We have frequent creative textile upcycling challenges where you can w- win cool prizes like, you know, an annual membership to Stitcherhood. And we also host our special events within Stitcherhood. So um, the Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Summit classes, workshops, and lectures, the Rags to Riches Mastermind, and Stitch Alongs, and so much more. Like The place is just burgeoning with cool, inspiring stuff right now. So members participating in special events hosted within Stitcherhood seize the opportunity to connect with others for feedback, reflection, clarity, and connection. It's so cool, you guys. Like What an opportunity we have with this beautiful platform. And you know what's extra cool about it? Our members, vintage clothing purveyors, professional menders, teachers, OG upcycling manufacturers who have found their tribe, newbies dreaming of launching textile upcycling businesses, and literally everyone in between. The common thread that stitches us all together is a commitment to creative reuse of fabric waste and the Stitcherhood community. And right now we are just rolling into our third year. And I got to tell you, the place is just radiating the most amazing inspiration, which gets richer with every new member. Now, of course, I might be a little biased. (laughs) I'm not going to lie. But Stitcherhood is for sure, like hands down, my favorite place to hang out online. And back in episode three, I shared the story of like why I created Stitcherhood. So today I want to share more about some pretty awesome changes and additions we have put in place since that um, recording back in, well, it was actually just a year ago that I recorded episode three of the podcast. So um, as we go through this episode, I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions. I'll share about a new program we kicked off earlier this year called Thrive Squads. I'll explain the Stitcherhood materials market, which is just super cool. Um, share details about member taught classes and how you can take a class or, or even teach one. And I'll outline our upcyclers directory. And, you know, then we'll dig kind of into the functionings of how a membership in this awesome community actually actually works. And I'll share what's in it for you. So this episode is all about the evolution of Stitcherhood. And I'm so excited. Are, are you ready? 
I am ready. Here we go. All right. So for the last two years, the community that has developed in Stitcherhood is purely magical. The support, connection, and inspiration found within Stitcherhood buoys the entire textile upcycling movement as well as each of our members. With an inspiring posse of encouragement, support, and fun around you, working toward the same goal, life becomes more fruitful and confidence seeps in knowing that you really are not alone. This is Stitcherhood, you guys. A member recently summed it up with a new hashtag, Stitcherhood Magic. Since recording episode three just a year ago, we have simplified our members' experience and addressed some of the clunkiest aspects of our beloved hosted hosting platform called Mighty Networks by offering a single level of membership. So we had a little trouble with our old format and it was like super confusing and glitchy to switch from one level of membership to another, requiring personal attention from my team to make it happen. And by the time members realized that switching it up was not possible without that hands-on help, they were understandably so frustrated. And Oh, it was the last thing I wanted to impart on my members. So that frustration led us to seek out and implement tools that make the whole experience just a whole lot more fun and easier for everyone. Not only have we changed our checkout process, we now offer a single level of membership in Stitcherhood. So if you've been around a little while, you might've heard about the Curious or the Collaborator memberships. Well, those are history. And now we just offer this single level buy-in, a community of equal access where add-ons like one-off classes, workshops, and lectures, Thrive Squads, and even the Summit VIP bonuses are available. Now, membership costs $17 a month or $170 a year, um, that's US dollars, and we do offer financial assistance to those without means. Additionally, Stitcherhood no longer has a trial period. Now, before you get all up in arms or change the station or whatever, hear me out. I want to share with you this really kind of interesting thing. This is seriously where a degree in psychology would really have served me well. See, I was kind of under the impression that offering a free trial was a good idea. I mean, it made sense to me to allow prospective members to kind of like look under the hood, if you will, before committing to a recurring membership right? Um, nope. The glitch there seems to maybe have been the fact that in order to access a free trial, people had to enter their credit card information, which would only be charged once the trial period ended. And it seemed fair enough to me, but it was a real turnoff. I think that's what it was. Was it a lack of trust? Were prospective members wondering why we would ask for credit card credentials if they hadn't even committed to a membership? I might be put off by that too. I'm, I, I don't, I, I guess. And then I was wondering, maybe the trialers were having difficulty keeping track of the free trial period and feeling like their credentials were just out there floating around the interwebs with uncertainty. And honestly, I'm really not sure what the disconnect was, but I can tell you that since we stopped offering a trial period, our buy-in rates have literally doubled. Who knew? I guess what they say <laughs> about paying attention, have you heard that? Like, you know, when you pay attention, when you pay for something, you pay attention to it. It seems to be really true, you guys. And I guess the proof is right in the pudding, right? So the best part about all of this recent epiphany is that we just really love welcoming new members to Stitcherhood. When I think back and compare now to the beginning of my textile recycling journey, and the sad realization that I had actually no peers or mentors to lean into about the business nitty gritty of running a used clothing recycling business. We called it recycling back then, by the way. Um, compare that to now, and it's just like a completely different story. Now there's Stitcherhood a warm and welcoming community, a mix of longtime textile upcycling industry professionals, hobbyists, entrepreneurs, and newbies just getting started. What fun it is to host this community that gets richer with each new member, a space to share experience, connection, and be inspired. Oh, baby, let me just tell you, like Stitcherhood really is the place to hang out if you're a textile upcycling creatrix looking for your people. 
Now, I'm going to share you a lot more about what we have new in the platform, but we're going to take a quick break. So hang tight and I'll be right back with you. Today's episode of Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast is brought to you by Swanson's Fabrics. Are you a textile-centric crafter who loves vintage yardage, unusual fabrics, notions, and sewing tools and tutorials? Maybe you are a sewing teacher in need of cool and inexpensive cloth for students. Whether sewing high-end bespoke couture or experimenting with new textile making processes, SwansonsFabrics.com, located in the heart of Turner's Falls, Massachusetts, has just what you need. You can shop online or at the very well-organized and jam-packed store. Swanson's Fabrics is a thrift shop of fabric, notions, and textile tools. It's a community repurposing the leftover collections of home sewers, addressing the reality that we have enough fabric and craft supplies for generations stored right in our very own attics and closets. Swanson's makes it very easy to pass on an excessive fabric stash and find inspirational treasure for sewing projects. Additionally, Katherine Swanson hosts an online group for entrepreneurs interested in using her business model for fabric thrift stores in their communities. Find Swanson Fabrics at swansonfabrics.com and on TikTok and Instagram. Hey, we're back. So I was just talking about how awesome Stitcher Hood is and how it's just so like, I can't even really put to words the um, the vibe that I received from this amazing group of people. So my current focus for me and my team at the time of this recording is to really dig in and learn about and really completely understand our member experience. I kind of think it's sort of funny how many online tools offer us this wonderful opportunity to connect. But often, like in the case of Stitcherhood and Mighty Networks, it's been nearly impossible for me to witness or experience the same flow as you, our beloved Stitcherhood members. So I, I you know, when messages are sent and that they're automated, I, I want to be the writer. I don't want to have, so anyway, we're working on all of that sort of thing behind the scenes because I think it's really important to really connect like human to human. We want each Stitcherhood member to know that they can call upon other members or our community moderators and management to solve problems, answer questions, and generally support each other. Communicating clearly with our with transparency is really kind of fundamental to our business model, and knowing just what our community experiences is really important. So as we kind of delve into that behind the scenes stuff, it's super helpful to have constructive criticism along the way. We actually really rely on member input to address issues, including improved navigation, new Stitcher Hood offerings, or even our community structure. We're always working to grow, improve, and provide more value. So I'd like to announce some really amazing new additions to the platform. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let's dig in to this new stuff. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about are Thrive Squads. And then we're going to share about our material market, our member-led classes, workshops, and lectures, our upcyclers directory, our textile alchemy live streams, and how the Rags to Riches Summit in April 2024 will be hosted right in Stitcherhood. These recent Stitcherhood add-ons are a kind of a big deal. So let me explain. So like I said, we're going to start with Thrive Squads. As Stitcherhood grew into a single level membership of several hundred people and growing every day, the desire to connect in a smaller, more intimate group was a common question. Thrive Squads are small groups of Stitcherhood members that get together once a week to share work, ask questions, give support, and move the needle in their textile upcycling practice. Thrive Squads cost an additional $25 monthly, and like with our general community membership, participants are free to come and go as their lives allow. Because Thrive Squads are limited to 10 people, rejoining is dependent upon availability. So the way it works is I host the first meeting of each month, introducing a theme that provides direction for the subsequent meetings that are member run. Weekly meetings follow a structured outline with the following topics. 
week one, well, we just talked about that. I introduce a monthly theme and that can be interpreted any way you want. Week two is really focused on developing sales and or like new income streams. Week three, technique and new product introduction. Week four is focused on honing our online presence and how, you know, what online presence works best for you. And then week five, if we have a week five, is kind of a bonus week. And, you know, the theme of that week is really like material sourcing, but it's kind of like getting that joker and it's like a wild card. You can use that additional week for whatever seems most pressing for your um, thought that week. So each each squad has an activities feed, a group chat, and like I said, it's limited to 10 members to ensure everyone has an opportunity to share at the weekly meetings. Think of your Thrive Squad as your home team where you can lean into vulnerability, be supported, and some inspired all at once. The next thing I want to share with you guys, the Stitcherhood Materials Market is this really cool space that we created. And it was created actually just before the um, Rags to Riches Summit 2023. And the summit was like all consuming. So we kind of let the materials market sit for a little bit. And I'm really excited to let you know that it's just this really super cool space where members can buy, sell, and trade materials for textile upcycling with ease. And Stitcherhood is really just like a conduit for this member-run space where they set pricing and the trans transactions are organized and completed by members just interacting together. And things like remnants, thread, patterns, notions of all kinds, scraps, any kind of material or tools or equipment related to textile upcycling are fair game here. You might even find drastically reduced discontinued product for some of our member businesses in our materials market. I've got some sitting on my table right now that I need to list, (laughs) truth be told. Um, So because, you know, we are a thrifty bunch using what we have or what others are tossing out, you know, and we find that super inspiring, this is just like an amazing asset to our membership and our community. We all know that every maker uses materials for their products and often have off cuts or other leftover materials to share and inspire. Find the material you need or find someone who wants your excess in the Stitcherhood materials market. It's all pretty simple. Members create a quick post or an article right in the materials market space, the place to source or share materials. Of course, we spell out exactly how to post for success in this space in our how to use the materials market segment that accompanies the marketplace feed. So those two things are super cool. I'm so excited about them. Thrive squads and the materials market. And now we're going to jump to the next. Oh my, I I can't like, I'm just, Stitcherhood is really rocking my world right now, you guys. And I, I, can you tell? So anyways, In this summer, we kind of had this sort of soft launch of our Stitcherhood member-led classes, workshops, and lectures. And it's super exciting to have the opportunity to tap into the wealth of expertise and knowledge that's right in our membership. Members can apply to teach by filling out a short questionnaire. And once approved, and really the way we approve classes is just to make sure like you have the equipment you need, you are confident, and you know, if you need any little bits of coaching or whatever, we can make sure that you have what you need before you teach the class if you haven't taught before. And we want to make sure that whatever you're teaching is something that we haven't recently offered something very similar to and that you have the experience required to have it be a really valuable class. So once you're approved, imagery, marketing information, and other class-related details like materials lists, you know, tools that might be needed are shared and our community manager, Sandra Primo, schedules the class. These events are available to the general public as well as our Stitcherhood members and Stitcherhood members get a special reduced pricing like at the time of recording, you guys get 50% off. So it's really like we try to make our membership like super valuable. Teaching events are listed on um, the events calendar at crispina.eco and shared via email with our Stitcherhood email list and generally chatted up in all our social media places. 
Member teachers' marketing efforts are integral in the success of this program, and Stitcherhood provides an outline for successful marketing. You know, just an idea of like when to start talking about it, how to make people kind of notice and pay attention and see that it's something that they can participate in as well, even if they're not Stitcherhood members. So this program offers teachers an opportunity to test out new classes and get online teaching experience under their belts and hone their tech for optimal learning outcome. Um, and teachers are compensated. We're, you know, kicking the series off and it's a 50-50 break with um with the membership with Stitcherhood. So whatever income is generated with your course, we divide evenly um, with our teachers. So member-led classes, workshops, and lectures dive into a new all sorts of topics. So whether it's a new making technique or business-oriented expertise, um, we even dig into the psychology of success. So the topics, um, the classes that we have on deck are range from learning how to host a successful virtual shopping event to how to create a website that can grow with your business, repurposing scarves into a kimono style jacket. You can learn about industrial sh- sewing machines and what machine will serve your needs best. And you can take a class on honing your mindset for business success or adding a new product design to your repertoire with a class sharing a technique new to you. Check out our class schedule. Again, that's at crispina.eco backslash events. So at the time of this recording, our very next upcoming workshop is uh, run by our lovely community manager, Sandra Primo, who has a beautiful textile upcycling business called The Unruffled. Uh, You can find that at theunruffled.com. We'll put a link in our show notes page as well. So she is going to teach a class on how to make a kimono jacket from repurposed scarves. And her work is just so beautiful and um, stylish. It's very stylish and stunning. And you can use scarves that might have some additional meaning to you for um, this project. And you can register for the workshop at the post it, that we have in Stitcherhood if you're a member with, and that has your um, Stitcherhood discount link in there as well. There's also a link for registration on our show notes page from this episode. And you, you know, again, visiting um, crispina.eco backslash events will also get you there. So classes are open to Stitcherhood members and non-members, like I said earlier, and member pricing is 50% of the non-member tuition. Each class is paired with a Stitcherhood space open for 10 days after the live class where recordings are posted and a community of member students gather to support each other and just answer questions, have an opportunity to complete, you know, whatever the class was teaching with the support of the group. The advantages for Stitcherhood members has proven to be a wonderful community builder. Non-member students can join Stitcherhood with no strings attached for $17, get 50% off their class tuition, and hang out with their fellow students for a solid 10 days, all while honing a new skill, getting feedback and reflection from their peers and teacher. Pretty cool. Now, those people who join for $17 can stop their subscription at any point. So you can join for a single month at $17. And if you love it and want to hang out longer, you will, um, you can stay as long as you like. The Stitcherhood Upcyclers directory is a work in progress. This is another new addition we've um, we've put in place since last year. It's designed to become a comprehensive directory of textile upcycling businesses, featuring introductions, company details, including structure, offers, materials used, and possibly even what they might have available, and also how to best connect and who to connect with at whatever company is listed. If you run a textile upcycling business, reach out, leave a comment in the show notes of this episode to be added to our textile upcyclers directory. Carrying an active membership is strongly encouraged for those listed in the directory, just to support the community and enable us to learn more about you and interact with you and learn about you know, how we can best support each other. Stitcherhood is all about bringing awareness to textile of cycling and what better way to do that, but then by supporting and shining a light on our very members. 
As you can see, there have been so many amazing upgrades, new features, and added function to Stitcher Hood since our inception back in July of 2021. All these changes came at the hands of Mighty Networks, the woman-run platform we use to host Stitcher Hood. We love Mighty Networks because there are no algorithms, no ads, and whatever you saw yesterday, last week, or last month on the platform can be pretty easily found with a simple search or scroll. This is most easily accomplished with hashtags. Since hashtags became a Mighty Networks thing, we created a list of highlighted Stitcher Hut hashtags to enable easy peasy searching. Of course, you can use your own or even coin a new Stitcher Hood hashtag. The best thing about this added feature is the improved search function for members because you're definitely not going to want to miss a thing in our super inspiring Stitcher Hood community. And while we're talking about new cool things within the platform, like the functionality of the platform, there's a live stream feature that kicked off. It was maybe six or nine months ago. And Mighty Networks made it possible for moderators to go live with as many as nine guests. And since this super fun way to connect was introduced, I moved my Textile Alchemy live show from my YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook feeds right into Stitcherhood. Each week, you can catch me live for about 20 minutes sharing different aspects of turning discarded clothing, manufacturer's waste, dead stock, or long forgotten fabric stashes from grandma's attic into product from clothing to blankets, quilts, rugs, fine art, and more. Textile alchemy live stream topics range from answering commonly asked questions, workshopping specific hurdle with a guest member, or hosting shares about competitions, residencies, grants, and collaborations that pertain to textile upcycling. Within the live stream, there's like a live chat role where you can go in And if you're watching live, you can post your questions, your thoughts, ideas, and give feedback right as we're chatting. Recordings are posted and hashtagged with Textile Alchemy Live for easy access. So you might have heard about or even attended the Rags to Riches Summit. Our third annual three-day virtual creative textile reuse summit is scheduled for April 4th through the 6th of 2024. We will be featuring uh, for sure over 30 textile upcycling professionals from across the globe. They're going to share their experience and know-how in panel discussions, in hot seats, in-depth presentations, virtual booths where you can shop like a virtual craft fair, and even live Q&A sessions. And the best news, you guys, is the Rags to Riches Summit 2024 will be hosted right in Stitcherhood. No confusing additional logins, passwords, or platforms to navigate. We are now able to offer the dynamic experience of summit attendance right in our home community and are super excited to host you there coming up in April. Stay tuned for future episodes with more information about the next Rags to Riches Summit. So if you are a textile upcycling entrepreneur, whether you are brand new to the arena or have been at it for years, I look forward to welcoming you to Stitcherhood to take a firsthand look-see. We are super proud of the growth and development in Stitcherhood so far and look forward to continuing to provide ever-increasing value, connection, inspiration, and know-how to all of those people out there in the world, yourself included, interested in textile upcycling, recycling, and reuse. And by the way, if you're listening and you are a Stitcherhood member, I want to thank you from deep within my being for walking this path with me because without you, it's just not nearly as much fun. Hey, so I'm over here and I'm serving you a giant air hug because you just finished another episode of the Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast. Thank you for being with me. Our music is provided by The Lucky Five. Learn more about them at theluckyfive.com. Our show is produced and edited by Van Dalhyasen. If you want to dive in deep, head over to Rags to Riches Textile Upcycling Podcast.com.